This one, about the number of languages on Earth, explores a number of idioms. So the first one I'll consider is just use of the word between. Between X and Y or between X or Y. What's correct in English is between and. Between or is not correct. And so right away we have between and we need the word and. So the word or is incorrect. The second idiom, tried. What do we do when we have tried and then a verb? Tried to count, followed by an infinitive, or tried counting, followed by a gerund. Well, it turns out that the verb try always takes the infinitive. So following try by a gerund is incorrect. So tried counting, people say that in spoken English, but technically that is incorrect. Tried to count. That is correct. So try to count, try to count, try to count, tried counting, tried counting. Now we'll look at the pronouns. So we have between a language and the sub languages or dialects within that individual language, within it. So the it is correct here, the them is incorrect. But then when we're counting, well, what are we counting? We're counting how many languages on Earth. So some, some of these choices don't even have a pronoun following the verb to count, but the ones that do, to count them, the languages on Earth, that's correct. Counting it, that is incorrect. We're not counting a single language. In fact, that, that's a bit odd, having something singular following the verb count, because I mean singular, why would you count it? So right away, we see that B, C, D, and E are all out because they have grammatical errors. Meanwhile, A has the proper conjunction and. It also has a proper conjunction here, not with. With is inappropriate for joining two clauses. Has the proper pronoun, has the proper form, an infinitive following try. It is in every way clear and free of grammatical error, and it is by far the best answer choice.